Hello, I'm Jenna Horston and I am one of the teachers at Southeast Christian School and I'm going to go over how to access a math resource at home. This is a great resource for your students to just practice math um, at their level and it is adaptive to their skills. So we're going to talk about Freckle today. In order to get to Freckle, you're going to go ahead and go to freckle.com. Once you get to freckle.com, you are going to go ahead and click this login button and you're gonna to need to click on the student. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in K1, 2, and then kind of what it looks like in three, four, five. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit back out of this. So when you get to the Freckle login page, it'll look like this. Your student needs to know their class code or you need to ask your teacher for their class code. I'm gonna start looking at kindergarten. So I'm gonna go ahead and and then hit this um, green arrow. Once I get here, it's going to pull up all the students' names in that class. And then I'm going to find the student who I am. I'm today, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on once you get into Freckle, you have a couple of different places. You have things from your teacher, you have math, and you have my store. The store isn't open all the time. The store opens after they spent a certain amount of time, and then they can spend a minute on the store, and they can change up their little character here and buy different things for it. If your child has assignments from your teacher, this is where it'll be. Your students um, could have assignments that relate to what they're doing in math, and they could have something that might be a challenge. They might There might be something that might be a review. And has completed all of his assignments from his teacher, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back, and we're gonna click on this math button. This is gonna pull up skills specific to them. So we have number basics, number facts, adaptive math, fact practice and focus skills. Focus skills is a great tool because it is related to um, your students star math testing. And so they'll be able to put it pulls the data over there. And then it looks at the gaps or um, standards that your student hasn't fully met. So for example, I'm going to click here, we have counting objects in a group we would go ahead and this would pop up with a video that's an explanation of the skill. It tells you what to do. Um, if they skip it, you can always go back and watch this video right here and it'll pull up that explanation. What we would do is we would count up how many there are and then answer it and hit submit. This would continue until they complete all of them in this session. Usually there are about 10 questions in a session um, and it will go through and in the the questions will adapt as they go through. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of there. We're gonna exit out of the focus skills. And then we have number basics. So this would be that you are um, able to identify numbers with um, pictures and with words. So I'm looking for the number that matches eight. So I'm looking for the number or the written word eight. It can be opposite where eight is written out here and I'm looking to match the number. Um, this Each time you start a new skill, it'll test you to see where you are and then it'll um, adapt from there. Okay, um, back into math. These are just number facts. We're starting out with pretty basic number facts of using addition, um, first to five, and then Collect we're gonna go. The ingredients so we can bake a cake. Five plus four equals? So on this one, we're adding five plus four. We're looking for nine. As we continue through, you can see that we're doing 10 of these. Depending on how well we do, we'll either stay in the number facts um, up to nine here, or we'll um, move on to subtraction. So you can see that that is another great thing. And then this is adaptive math. You can see all of these different skills that we're working on. Your student can pick on a different one or pick on a certain one. And let's say I'm working on um, my operations in algebraic thinking, I'm going to answer this question of what number goes in the blank. This is the adaptive practice, so it's going to continue to change to meet your students' needs. And so it will, they'll pass each level and continue to get more and more difficult questions. And then there's the last thing is we have these fact practice. And in kindergarten, you can see that it's basic addition and subtraction. As you see in the upper grades, it's gonna change a little. So this is um, our 
kindergarten, first and second grade, what it would look like um, and how you can access this. I'm gonna go ahead and log out of this one. And then we're gonna go into um, a fifth grade student. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that class code. And once you've entered the class code once, it'll show up down here, but I'm gonna go ahead and log into this. In the upper grades, they have to type in their first name and their last name. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and click here. So in the upper grades, you're gonna have a backpack. The backpack is going to be things that your teacher assigns you, so you can have that to do. You have the done, and then you also have a math report card to see how you're doing, how you've grown, how many correct answers you've gotten in um, the topic that you're working. And so it's just a great place for accountability. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit on this math button. You have the adaptive math, the fact practice, and the focus skills. So you just have a few less than what you had in the kindergarten one. The focus skills are still going to be ones that um, are tied to your STAR math test. So for example, we're working on multiplying numbers. So this would be a skill that we need to practice. If you need the explanation, you can always watch it. And then it talks about that a bakery bakes 23 batches of 51 cupcakes. You can also um, use, well, um, you can have your student get a piece of paper so that they can work through this. Um, so that's just, that would be the focus skills and focusing on where there are gaps. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that one. We're gonna go back. Um, we have the fact practice and you can see on this fact practice that sh there's a review of subtraction, addition, multiplication and division. So it's going to get more difficult. There are only ever two fact practice sessions that you can do a day. Um, so that you're not spending all the time doing that. And then they also have the same adaptive practice. So you can pick what you want. And um, so this one, we're at level 31 and we are looking at number shapes and patterns. So I would click on this and um, we, I'd be looking for the factors of 21. I'd select all that apply. If I'm unsure, I can use this video. So this is more of a fun game and a tool to use to reinforce skills at home and not necessarily teach new skills. It's also going to go ahead and um, fill in gaps for your student that maybe they are missing on their star math um, assessment and then it'll continue to hit those skills so that your student can improve upon that. Um, it's a great resource, it's fun, students seem to really enjoy it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Um, and I hope that this was helpful for you and I hope you have a great rest of your day.